I'm a number. I am the 327th baby of a black woman who died during childbirth that year. I'm a $20 a day check to a group home. I'm inmate 4075 serving 18 months for a crime I didn't commit. But I can live with all those numbers because to mama who adopted me, I was her number one. But it turns out she's just one of a quarter million murders in this country who have not seen justice. And that is a number I can't live with. So you can have this damn suit back when her killer is dead. Wow, that is some powerful stuff. Just like that, Gotham has a new Batwoman, and she's joining us live on the air this morning. Javicia Leslie, so good to see you. Good to have you here. How are you doing? Thank you for having me. <laughs> I am good. I am excited about Sunday. I'm excited for everyone to see the work we've done and uh, just our amazing show. So I'm super, super, super hyped. <laughs> so you get to play Batwoman, and what a powerful figure. What was that like when you found out you get to be Batwoman? I was shocked and excited and you know I had been waiting to find out we had did our last it was we had to go through rounds of auditions and we had did our last one maybe two or three days before but it felt like it was like it felt like I had been waiting for two or three weeks to find out so I was super stressed and I was like in the middle the middle of meditating and just kind of helping to like relax and kind of let go and allow God to have it and then I received a phone call from my manager and I couldn't believe it. That's amazing. And we're seeing some clips right now. This is a very physical role. Uh, how did you prepare for it? I mean, are you naturally this athletic? Luckily, I was already practicing um, Muay Thai before I booked the role. I, I started that about two years ago, um, and I just started the Bosa. So I already spoke a little bit of the, the, the whole mixed martial arts language, as you can say. So when I started to collaborate with our stunt team we were able to really create um choreography that i was able to do so that i'm able to do most of my own stunts that's awesome so there's no one playing you in these images it's actually you doing these flips and definitely oh, 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 oh first of all i do have a stunt double because i can't do everything okay. <laughs> but i get to do a lot of my own stuff that's awesome any new skills that you had to acquire on the set yeah, definitely. You know, um, both staff was something I had just started before I booked it. So even going more into the both staff world and how, and being able to use it on screen, that takes a lot of work, a lot of uh, practice. And then also, I've never been a super, superhero before. So I had to work on my landing and getting that strong and confident and being able to shoot out of the scene and being at such high heights and feeling confident with that. So it's definitely been a learning journey as well. That's so neat. I mean, it's impressive that you're able to do all of this. And then you also have a lot in common with Ryan Wilder. Let's talk about that. Even when it comes down to a plant that she carries, what's that all about? <laughs> Yeah, so Ryan has this plant that means so much to her because, you know, she comes from a life of of not having anyone and, and people dying that are important to her. And someone that was really important to her gave her this plant that she really tries her hardest to take care of. It's like the only thing that she has. But I am just slightly obsessed with plants in general. <laughs> I um, have been in Vancouver since <laughs> August 7th, and I've collected 32 plants. So there's definitely a little bit of an obsession there. Wow. I just, I love them. I love to be surrounded by them. I need some advice from you on how you keep them alive because we can barely keep anything. Just succulents, that's it, all I have. <laughs> it's, it's, it's definitely a journey. It started in quarantine, and ever since then, I haven't let it go. That's awesome. And so this Sunday, people are going to get a chance to watch this. And what do you think? people are going to like the most about this first episode I, it's, it's fun it's a lot of fun you know batwoman in general is a very action-packed show so we make sure that we satisfy all of your action cravings you're getting a glimpse back into gotham i know a lot of us are, have missed the atmosphere of gotham the dark gritty sexy um imaginative city um so you really get to go back into that world and kind of take a break from reality for a little while and just have some fun watching the show I think we can all take a break from reality. And yes, yeah. I, I like how you describe Gotham as sexy. <laughs> all right, Batwoman will be at 8 p.m. on The CW. Javicia, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me.